There are many times in LookDev and lighting when you need to place very bright lights very close to objects, such as sphere lights for light bulbs or traffic lights, or practical rectangular and disc lights for creating extra lighting kick on a character or general scene lighting enhancement. But the problem quickly becomes very apparent when moving a bright light closer to the surface of an object, causing negative and undesirable rendering effects such as hotspots and fireflies. Well, luckily for you, RenderMan's lighting toolbox has a very handy feature to aid us in the battle against unwanted rendering effects. Welcome to Intensity Near Distance. So diving into Solaris, let's have a look at our template scene. And we've got our Reflectotron robot here as well. We have our dome light as normal, which is adding a little bit of fill into the entire scene. And over the top of my robot, I've made a rectangular light and I've set the intensity to six and the exposure to four. Some of you eagle-eyed rendering experts may have noticed he looks pretty blown out and he's quite overexposed in certain pieces. And so within Solaris, it provides us this handy inspector tool over here. So if you click on this magnifying glass, we're able to inspect the color and luminance values of pixels. So rolling over the top of his head here, you can see that we have an average luminance value of one and all over his top is completely bright. And if we look up at the top of his arms, the value here is one. And if we come down to the bottom here, we're starting to get an average value of about 9.7 or 9.8. And so intensity near distance sits inside of this render man tab. So if you come over to the render man tab here, under refine, we have this intensity near distance and by default, it's grayed out. And so if you click on the cog, you can then come here to this option set or create. And by default, this is set to naught. So again, let's just do one last check on his head and at the top of his arms, we have a luminance value of one. And if we come down to the bottom here, we have a luminance value of 0 0.97. So let's add one into the intensity near distance. So now here at the top of his head, we can see that we now have a luminance value of 0 0.996. And then at the bottom here, we have 0 0.9781. As you can see that we've already started to reduce the intensity on the top of his head. And so if I increase his value to two, now if we have a look at the top, our luminance value is 0 0.937. And again, at the bottom here, it's 0 0.98 or 0 0.97. So the faces that are closer to the light have now started to reduce their intensity whilst we've still retained the intensity further away from the light. And this is where the power of intensity near distance comes in. So if we go to three, now you can start to see that we started to kind of get some detail in our reflections back. And we have a value here of 0 0.8. And at the bottom here, we're still getting 0 0.95 or 0 0.94. And just to increase this even further, let's go to four. And so now we're starting to really kind of see the effect of it. At the top here, we have 0 0.74. And at the bottom here, we're still in that 0 0.9. And let's just go one step further. And let's set this intensity near distance to five. And now we've really got our detail back in the top. And we've got our values here of 0 0.64. And again, if you come all the way to the bottom here, our luminance value is an average of 0 0.86. And so you can see the power of this, that if you have a very bright light source that's inside of glass, like a light bulb, or you're trying to move a light very close to a character, but that light is causing far too much intensity, you can actually control it with this intensity near distance. And so to summarize, Let's just do this test one more time. Let's turn it off completely. Let's go back to naught. And so here at the top, we have our luminance of one. And then at the bottom here, we have 0 0.97. And then let's go back to five. And so now you can see here that we've regained the detail and we've got rid of our hotspot. And our luminance value here is 0.63. And again, at the bottom here, it's 0.8. So overall, we've crafted this light. So the faces near this very bright light above the robot, we've actually dialed back the intensity, whilst faces that are further away from the light, we've actually really retained this light intensity. And so this lesson is quite a short one, but the feature itself is incredibly powerful. And I'm sure once you start to learn how it works in your own scenes and your own renderings, it's a feature that you're going to wonder how you ever lived without it and you'll only ever use it going forward.